um, greetings from Australia again. Um, I just want to do an update. There's so much going on in the world. It's very exciting for the believer because it's all signs of Jesus' return. Um, but with the US elections going crazy and the stock markets plunging around the world, it's amazing times to be alive. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick update. And I was just looking on the internet today and um, seeing what was happening. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, this is exciting. So if you're a believer in Jesus, I just want to encourage you today that with all the earthquakes that have been increasing in the last 48 hours, uh, with what's going on in American elections, with the build-up of troops on Russian borders by NATO, with all that's happening in Syria, Aleppo, um, and Mosul in Iraq, uh, with the UN and the Israel and Jerusalem, it's exciting times. So all we know that all this is supposed to happen just before Jesus returns. And uh, we need to keep looking up and know that our redemption is drawing nigh. Um, I was just thinking about Jonathan Kahn with the Shemitah and the Super Shemitah. We've just come out of the Jubilee year. And I looked at my phone this afternoon and it had that the Dow had fallen 700 points. Um, if all of you have followed his work, you'd understand the significance of that number. Um, I think that there's more yet to come. I think we're just on the verge of some very, very big things. And um, when we look in our Bibles, we know there is going to come a global war, a massive war. And I think it, we've seen the start of that now. It's building up in the Middle East. The tensions are as high as they've ever been. We're seeing the tensions in the US at a, an all-time high. Um, we still don't know if Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton have gotten in. And uh, it's a very exciting, <laughs> an exciting day. Um, yeah, just this morning I just was uh, praying and saying, Lord, what can I do, um, you know, just to share with people. And uh, so, yeah, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you believe that he died for your sins and rose again, th this is not a time to be afraid. My goodness, this is a time to be excited. This is a time to look up because our redemption draws nigh. As you can hear the big dog out there. <laughs> Um, and honestly, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Saviour, then get to know him today. And what do I mean by that? I mean it, to repent of your sins. That means to turn away, to acknowledge that you are a sinner and need a Saviour. Uh, that Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth and the only life and the only way to get to heaven. There is no other way. He is God and there is no other way. And uh, once you confess your sin, believe in your heart that Jesus, that God has raised him from the dead and uh, that you will be saved. So if you don't know the Lord, I ask you to, to get right with God, get to know Jesus because this is the most amazing time. Get a Bible and start to read it because we are seeing the things in the newspaper that have been prophesied for thousands of years literally come off the, the script and out and playing in real life. So... Um, as a believer, this is a fantastic time to be alive, and I just encourage you stay strong, stay bold in your faith for the Lord, because He is coming soon, and we have no need to be afraid.